Good morning, lovelies. How is everybody today? Oh, hello, Astra. Can you gonna come sit in my lap? No, no. You're not gonna go over there. This is not a highway to the table. You gonna lie down? <laughs> She's so funny. Okay. Keeper of the cauldron of life, you have mixed and shaped me as I am. Before I go forth into the recreation of summer, I acknowledge your presence in my every cell of my being. Teacher of my soul and your life, you have asked many questions in order to straighten your path. Grant me the essential curiosity to ask such questions and give me help now to find an answer to today's issue. The sacred laws of hospitality bid us welcome the guest as a member of our own family. May all beings of goodwill who will come within the compass of my daily routine experience welcome and hospitality of my heart. I remember all who have suffered prejudice because of cultural origin or religious background. May the blinkers of bigotry be lifted and the vision of compassionate heart prevail. May the blessed space of this day open my eyes fresh to all the world has yet to unfold. May the embrace of festival and a rejoicing warmth, whatever is cold, encourage what is weak, enliven whatever is slow to come to life within me. Okay, today's card is Daughters of the Red Tent. You are at the threshold of a new life. You have outgrown the world you once knew and even the person you once believed yourself to be. This is a sign of good life to come, yet at the threshold there can be danger, for that which is new is vulnerable until it gains full strength. You are held in sacred protection throughout this time of transition. Soon you shall emerge in full maturity and strength, integrated and ready to bring yourself to the world in a new form. It has been decreed thus by nature herself, and so it shall be. Opening up to new life takes courage. You have to be willing to enter into unknown territory. Sometimes you may feel insecure as you find your way. To live a new life means living behind a life you've known. You may feel inspired, but also challenged. Whether you are loving the transition or struggling to get through it, know that you are held in the protection of the Daughters of the Red Tent. This is a time when you need to shield yourself from the prying eyes or opinions of the world just until you feel strong enough to stand in your own truth in a new phase and not find the doubts or fears of others cause you to doubt yourself. Just as birth cannot happen in full light of day, it needs the nurturing darkness of a seed in soil or a babe in the womb. So too does your emergence out of transformation need its new covering, its red tent. Here it can be held until the time is right to emerge, ready for you to hold onto your own world to your own in a world on a stable, secure inner foundation. You can choose to shield yourself by loving or emerging yourself and all the uncertainty and confusion that may come along with your transformation process. With patience, curiosity, respect, and compassion, you do not need to judge yourself for the process in any way. Do not allow others to judge you either. The only way through such process is to have unconditional trust. Take your time in solitude as needs be and calling on nurturing rituals to help you through the process. You can choose to care for yourself in the best way you can. Whilst you learn, you to trust yourself as you grow into a new life. <clears throat> I like that. I think there's a key piece here. This is a time when you need to shield yourself from prying eyes and opinions in the world. 
just until you feel strong enough to stand on your own truth in the new phase and not find that the doubts or fears of others cause you to doubt yourself. And I'm sorry for the banging in the background. I have no idea what it is this morning. Everybody and their mother's uncle is making noise outside. It's like six o'clock in the morning. Who does that? Anyway. Um, a threshold of a new life. I like that they talk about new things take courage and trusting in, in divine timing and trusting in the support of the divine around you. Um, I was actually just talking to somebody the other day and the thing that I encourage people all the time is, you know, you are surrounded by a team of guides. You're never alone. No matter how alone you think you are, you are not alone. And that can be so supportive for you. That can be so uplifting for you in space and time. And stepping into your power and stepping into your life, whatever you think that should look like, takes a lot of courage but it also takes allowing the flow of time to be exactly what it is. Sometimes it's a start, stop. Sometimes it's a go, go, go. Um, and it picks up and it's busy and it's beautiful. So I don't have a lot this morning. My voice is kind of doing this funny come and go thing. I think we're entering a, another phase of laryngitis. It happens. Um, I lose my voice at least once a year. I've lost it once already this year, so this would be the second time. <laughs> Some years it comes and goes more than others, but I'm used to it. I'm not worried about it. Um, I hope you all have a beautiful day, and I will see you in prayer. Blessed be.